Tower on board. There's the second tower. Command for ignition. Oxygen. Launch command has been issued. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine turbo pump at flight speed. Engines at maximum thrust. Lift off. And there is liftoff of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station, carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Obchinin to the orbital complex. This again is Nick Haig's first Time to uh, launch to space and Alexei Ochinin's second. Hearing good first stage performance for the Soyuz, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. In the first stage, the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. Six seconds into the flight. The pressure in the chamber is nominal. One copy, uh, everything is well on board. They're feeling well. Thank you. Copy. Everything proceeding as uh, intended for today's flight. Now just a little over a minute into it. The velocity of the Soyuz is about 1,100 miles per hour. View here of the crew inside the Soyuz now making their way to the International Space Station. Nick Haig there at the top of the screen and Alexei Ochinin at the bottom. View here of the Soyuz making its way into space. Everything looking good, proceeding nominally. Inaudible. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz now jettisoned. Everything continuing nominally. The four strap on boosters have been jettisoned and they've completed their job, dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Soyuz traveling about 3,000, uh, 3,350 miles an hour. Is it emergency booster two minutes, 45 seconds, the uh, emergency, the failure of the booster? Failure of the booster. Yes, BS. Yes, BS. BS. Yes, BS. Separation. Enable power. Back. 190 seconds into the flight, so he's traveling Is about 4,700 miles per hour. Don't be in a hurry. Burlaki, copy. We are in uh, weightlessness, you know, according to our sensations. Stand by. Burlaki, do you have F1 illuminated? 11.42.17, failure. 11.42.17 is the time of the failure. F1 on SP is illuminated. Copy. Okay, the shroud is separated. The crew is feeling well. Everything is well on board. We have crew. Uh, in our hands, and the power is on. Copy. So what are the recommendations of the ground? What about the separation? Did the separation 
go through? Yes, it did. 11.42.55. For like did you deactivate root power? No. Uh, did you activate the root power? Yes, the root power is on. O N. Now, please send the S command. Ballistic uh, descent command is sent from root controller. Copy. 11.45.30. The S has been sent. We have the indicator illuminated. The overload has started. Yes, we are getting ready for the deload. Time 12.46, deload is 6.7. Copy. 